So just going back to um, what I was talking about earlier and how we actually manage the calls coming in. This line along here shows us how many calls we have queuing in the various different groups um, and skill sets that I mentioned earlier. So for example, we have a group here that's our reservations group and you can see we've just had one call come into that queue. Very quickly that will be passed to an agent, I hope, um, but that will get passed on to one of the agents who has the reservation skill um, to handle that call and as you can see that's now gone back to zero. Um, we've got the affiliate group which is our partner network, um, our business to business customers, the customer services queue, our inquiry queue, hotel support and our mini breaks queues. What the graph below is showing is the number of agents that we have available um, and what various different states that work states they are in at the moment. So the first column shows how many agents we've got sitting on the phone ready and waiting to take a call. This next column shows how many are unavailable. So they may put themselves into an unavailable state if they have to get up from their desk um, and take a comfort break, get a coffee. Uh, for example. We then have a work state if they're just finishing up some administration to do with the call that they've just handled. You can see how many we've got talking, actually dealing with customers on calls at the moment, holding, ringing, the various different things. So this enables us to actually see what everybody's doing at any given time. At the top here, which I didn't mention earlier, you'll see that we're showing average wait time of four seconds. Um, our abandonment rate at the moment of 0%, our service level of 95% and the calls in the queue showing it zero. Now they go through fairly quickly so just to talk you through what those actually mean. The average wait time means that on average our customers are only waiting four seconds before we're answering the phone. As a result of the speed at which we're answering them we've lost virtually no calls today so the percentage of calls lost is showing at zero. The service level is showing at 95%. That means that we're answering 95% of our calls so far today within 20 seconds. So there's obviously been one or two that have fallen outside of the service level and the calls in the queue just gives us an idea of how many at a snapshot are waiting in the queue. Well, I hope that this case study has provided you with a good understanding of how we and other internet companies use IT in our call centre and how a good training in IT can provide career opportunities in any of the many businesses up and down the country that also have call centres.